All right, folks, here we go. You know, they didn't really give me bullet points for the event or anything like that, but apparently uh, here comes Jeff Mahidi about to be in action. I don't know if this is the next elimination match or not. They didn't tell me. Very unprofessional. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Tobias Wyschnowski, one half of the Lubeck Lucha Libre Tag Team Champions, along with his brother Daniel. And here we go. Interpromotional matchup. Interesting matchup, really. Jeff Mahini versus Tobias Wyschnowski right here. Jeff Mahini sending Tobias in. Oh, look at that. Just dropping it. Mahini with that clothesline. Now tie up. Now going behind. Oh, look at that. Look at that. High angle German suplex to open things up. Look at this. Mahi Strock Cradle. Oh, but rolls him right into the ropes with that Mahi Strock Cradle. Of course, Jeff Mahini has been in a slump as of late. He's missed the last several pay per views. You know, uh, his only involvement at, in Nashville at the Supercard was seconding Pat Smith out to the ring, which Smith fell to Brandon Tallman on, on that night. Don't know if either of them will be in the elimination match later tonight. We just know that neither TM Veg nor Joelberg, two of the most highly ranked people in the PCW Power Rankings, will be in that match. Of course, that means, thankfully, Crispin will not be in that match as TM Veg and Chris Benoit will have their rematch from the Supercard to later on in our main event tonight in a steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, look at that. Look at that st Look at that arm bar. May dislocate the elbow with that one. Mr. to be Ishwisnowski, one half of the Lubeck Lucha Libre Tag Team Champions. Decorated. Some judo specialist, rather. You know, Tobias Wojnowski is an interesting competitor, folks. He has a... It's kind of a the evolution of professional wrestling, really. Because not, not only... European-style professional wrestling is a lot different. But we see we see a little bit of that in his style. We, see, we also get a little bit of the, the wave of mixed martial arts that have been also popping up in the popping up in Central Europe to be Ishwisnowski with that interesting hybrid style. He's still very much a technical wrestler, but look at that, look at that takedown there. Look at that takedown. Impressive takedown by Tobias right here. Oh, look at that, but Jeff Mahini is no slouch. Don't let his losing streak fool you folks. He's one of the toughest competitors here in PCW. Yeah. Impressive suplex there. Of course, the last time we saw Tobias Wisnowski on PCW television was when he and his brother Daniel jumped then Lubick, then PCW World Tag Team Champions, the American McIntyres, on a night where they were set to defend the PCW World Tag Team Championships against the current champions. The Cancun Party Crew. That was the night that the Cancun Party Crew won those championships. Die Wyschnowski Bruder. Quite possibly the best tag team on planet Earth. There's a lot of teams that have to dispute that flying cross body by Udo. It's a tie up. Look at that. Oh, impressive. Impressive suplex right there. The tie up. Oh, look at that. Mahini staying in this one with that headlock takedown. Oh, look at that strike right to the midsection. That Kung Fu style strike. Right, Tobias staying on the attack. Is the tie up. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Tobias was going for something big right there. 
Could, boom! Couldn't quite get him, but it connected with that Kung Fu strike. Look at this. Oh, big time counter into a backdrop. Tobias seems to be in control right here. Can he maintain it? Once again, another flying crossbody to the former PCW World Tag Team Champion, Jeff Mahini. Keeping it simple with a slap to the chest right there. Of course, Tabish Wisnowski could be one of the competitors competing in the Gauntlet for Glory match. As we just learned not too long ago, I don't... We have heard that every other competitor will be a Lubeck Lucha Libre competitor, so at least there's that. Uh, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't it be a nightmare, folks, if two Lubeck Lucha Libre competitors made a vented WrestleOcalypse 3 in Las Vegas? Frickin' nightmare. Of course, the way things have been going as of late, both in PCW and the country, the nightmares are real, folks. I mean, I never thought I would see Frenchie here in the field house ever again, but there he was just a few minutes ago, dictating how we book our shows. Dictating who gets a title shot when. I mean, it's just a game to him at this point. He, he was just toying with us. Oh, look at the pinfall attempt. Mahini digs deep and kicks out of that one. Oh, yeah, Tobias Wisnowski keeps throwing that spinning kick. Eventually, he's going to catch Mahini with one of those. But again, he may just tire himself out. Of course, these Germans are... Fierce competitors. Oh, look at that, look at that. Rolling leg lock. Great ring positioning there, too. Mahidi cannot get to the ropes. Mahidi just forced a fight out of that rolling leg lock. Oh, tried to get the low blow. Tobias had it scouted. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh! Mahidi went in for a takedown. Tobias just sprawled out. Oh, just like I said, he was eventually going to catch him with one of those. The tie up. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mahidi returning the favor on that takedown attempt. Look at that. High angle backdrop. Tie up. Look at that. Oh, there's a falling up with the scoop slam. Of course, we still have the second four way elimination match. Coming up tonight, I don't know who's going to be in it. Nobody knows except that Joelberg, whose travel voucher got lost, quote unquote. And TM Veg and Chris Benoit will not be in that match. Oh, that. Once again, another arm bar. Tie up now. Yeah, once again, once again, taking him down, but once again, too close to the ropes. Mahini's staying alive in this one. Kind of riding the ropes a little bit. Oh, look at that. Trying to get that. Kind of a modified dragon screw, but to an arm. Look at that. Mahini favoring his midsection. Oh, look at that. Look at those knee strikes. So lifting that knee right into the midsection of, of Tobias. And following up with an atomic drop. Oh, look at that. No, take down attempt. No, but follows up with a roll up. Great counter by Mahidi. That may have been it if he had been in the center of the ring. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, there's the flowing DDT. Will that be enough? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. Probably the hardest I've ever rooted for Jeff Mahidi here in a match. That's the sign of the times though we have to be a united front we have to stay strong together forcing Mahini back to his feet now oh, big time spinning kick right to the jaw Look at that. once again another takedown attempt but this time center of the ring just going after the, the ribs of Mahini there trying to wear him down 
It's already been favoring his midsection. Oh, no, no, blocked it. High up, now setting Mahini to the ropes. Of course, who's, who's to say what the rest of the card at the Gauntlet for Glory is going to look like? Of course, it's assumed that all the championships will also be defended at the Gauntlet for Glory. That's how it usually goes. A look at that Hurricane Rana pinfall attempt. Good job, Jeff. Keep it. I'll allow that one. Mahini favoring his midsection, but staying alive. Diaz going behind. Oh, dropping the knee right into the mid, right to the lower back. Tying up again. Now going behind again. German suplex with a bridge, oh, but too close to the ropes there. I'd say that would have been it. Mahini recovering though. Oh, look at that! Look at that off the ropes. Oh, swinging neck breaker and Mahini trying to mount a comeback here in this one. Leveling Tobias with that clothesline. And now just raking the eyes. These underhanded tactics by Mahini are per appreciated by me tonight. Pinfall One, attempt roll up. Two. Oh, damn it. Of course, is, is this the sign of how things... Oh, no! Dropped him with the... With that Kung Fu strike right to the midsection and now just dragging Mahiti to the center of the ring. One, Pinfall attempt. Two, three, and just three. like that, out of nowhere, that is three. Wow. Out of nowhere, folks. This happened so fast that our production team apparently wasn't even able to get the replay. That hook in the leg deep. Just like that, the Lubeck Luch Libre competitor comes down here to PCW and takes out one of the toughest competitors here with a, just a simple kung fu strike right to the midsection. Just leveled it. All right, folks, and up next, the second four-way elimination match to the side. We will move on to face Zach Patterson in the number one contenders match next week. Stay tuned, folks.